Before we get too far in the semester, I thought it would be worth reminding you about the great resources in your book, not just the great figures that help you to understand concepts, but some of the figures that tie together multiple concepts. And as you continue through each segment of the book, you'll notice there are concept checks. So here we have concept check 1.1, where you can actually test yourself on how much you understand from that segment of the textbook. So here it says, starting with the molecular level in figure 1.3, write a sentence that includes components from the previous lower level of biological organization. So for example, a molecule consists of atoms bonded together. See how we tie together then two levels in that biological hierarchy. You'll notice that some of them are what if to get you to really think, and some of them are just testing your knowledge as you move along. And move along through the next section, and it's gonna ask you about some of these other core themes. So for example, explain why editing is an appropriate metaphor for how natural selection acts on a population's heritable variation as populations improve in fitness through time. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit just to remind you Again, that in addition to concept checks throughout and the fact that there are answers back in the appendix so you can see what the textbook authors were thinking, when you get to the very end of the chapter, you also have chapter review. And so not just a summary of those key concepts, which might be the best thing to read before you come to class, read these, and then come back to the body of the text later, but you also have test your understanding. So you have level one, knowledge comprehension. You have some multiple choice questions that'll allow you to test how well you understand. And then following that, you'll notice level two, application and analysis. Of course, testing how well you can apply information is part of your development as a professional in your field. And then we have level three on synthesis and evaluation. So work your way through some of these things constantly test yourself, find out what you know, what you don't know, so that you know what you need to study to be ready for the exams and to be ready for your future career.